Okay, we'll go ahead and get started here. We're joined by Timbers General Manager Ned Grabovoy and forward Jonathan Rodriguez. We'll get started with questions for Ned first, and then we'll move to Jonathan. Ned, if you want to start us off. Thanks, Pluma. Uh, and thanks for everyone to be, for being here. Um, obviously, this is a, a special day, a big day for the club, uh, where we finally get to introduce our next big time player in Jonathan Rodriguez. So um, really, really excited to be here. Uh, and thanks for everyone that's here. All right, we'll take questions for Ned. <coughs> Please let me know. Add up. Ned, obviously this is a sign that has been in the works for a while. What separates Jonathan from your typical Major League Soccer striker? Yeah, I think, well, you look at, um, you know, just how established he is as a player. Um, this is a player that's been scoring goals, you know, has played for some of the best teams uh, within the entire region. He's done that in multiple competitions. Um, we've seen that throughout his career. If there's one thing he knows how to do, it's obviously to score goals. I think looking at Jonathan and his skill set and why it made a lot of sense to us, one was without question the experience, uh, you know, and the level that he's played at. That was important uh, for our group right now. Uh, and, and, you know, if you look at some of the young players that we've added over the years, um, we think that he complements some of those players extremely well in the front part of the group. The other thing I would say is that I think we've got quite a bit of flexibility now, and hopefully Phil feels the same, with how we want to shape up in the front part of the group. And we all know with the grueling season of MLS, uh, the congestion, multiple competitions, you need options, you need quality without question. I know the player to my left certainly brings that, um, but this will give us the ability uh, to look at a number of different things in the attack. John, go ahead. Can you pass the mic? Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Ned, from the outside, this was apparently a transaction that took long. Did it actually took long, and uh, why? Well, I, th I think uh, even if it was a week long, it would have felt long, right? Um, I think, you know, outside of this room, what was a timeline, a decision day? Um, you know, I wouldn't necessarily agree with that narrative. I think the conversations that we've had, uh, and, and since Phil's coming on board as well, how important it was to get this next designated player signing right. We've made some, some very, very key additions this offseason. This is without question certainly one of the biggest and one of the most important. Our conversations here have always been to be patient, make sure that we get it right. And I would also say when you're navigating transfer markets, you have to be incredibly nimble as well because things can change quickly. You have to have a very good pulse on the market, the different opportunities that come up. Uh, I would say there's a reason we waited, and I would say it's because the player that's sitting, sitting up here with us right now. Hi, Ned. Um, obviously, bringing uh, Jonathan here is a huge, huge, huge signing, but there are still other holes on the roster. Can we expect any more moves before this primary transfer window closes? Yeah, I, I, would, uh, I would disagree with that in some ways. I would tell you the next objective, I think, for us as a group is how do we continue to add maybe players that, that provide a bit more depth in a few positions on the roster? Um, how do we have players that are a little bit younger, maybe not quite quite ready to help us right away, but we feel like we've got good players in the pipeline. Um, just because we choose maybe not to sign some of those players, we've got a few academy players coming right uh, through right now. Um, they'll get a good amount of games with the second team this year without players blocking them. So it's also about you know pr pr providing them the right pathway uh, in their development as well. So I think at, for the time being, we'll continue to assess the roster. Injuries happen, things happen. It continues to change and evolve. Um, you know, we'll stay patient with it, but we'll continue to assess. Hi, Guillermo Mota with Univision Portland. Um, there's a lot of Liga MX fans here in Portland, the greater Portland area. What does this signing tell to the fans that have been wanting a huge signing from especially the Mexican side? Yeah, I think, I, I think it's exciting for all Portland Timbers fans, but without question. Um, and, and a lot of that is because the success that Jonathan's had at multiple stops you know, in, in the Mexican League, um, Club America right now is probably, you know, one of the one of the best, if not the best, in the entire region. You'd expect to be uh, to see them, you know, compete all the way through the the Concacaf Champions Cup that they're in right now. Um, I think the the ability for us to bring a player uh, of this level at this time for our group is huge. And like I said, we we're looking for something very very specific. Um, you don't always find that. I feel good about the, the objective and the accomplishment. Thank you. We'll go back to John. Thanks, yeah. um, you were talking before about flexibility 
and and probably Phil is the one who has the last word on this, but when you're doing the analysis, the scouting of the player, the kind of player that you wanted, uh, were you guys thinking on the possibility of having a player like Jonathan alongside Felipe, or is just a competition between them to grow the state of the team up front? Well, the competition for all the players, right? Start there. But I think for us, you know, we see Jonathan as a striker and we see him as a forward without question. I think from there, the ability to play with other players, the ability to play in a pairing, you have to keep in mind that you may start a game a certain way, but then depending on the situation, you may be chasing a game. Uh, you know, a, a situation in which we need to find a goal in the last 20 minutes, potentially having Jonathan and Felipe up top together for me and, and for Phil, I think we probably feel pretty good pretty good about that as well um, and Felipe is a, another player that has a ton of quality and he showed that last year with his return from injury and he's also a player that we believe in um, so like I said I think we've got a group of attacking players um, you know and, and as the season plays out we'll probably see some different tweaks you know with how we line things up but we want to get Jonathan in and around goal that's where his quality separates him from a lot of players in this league any last questions for none Uh, okay, we'll get started with Jonathan now. Uh, we'll do English first and then Spanish, and then just a reminder to do one uh, question per person, and then we'll go back if, if, uh, if you have a follow-up. Uh, uh, okay, here you go. Okay. Um, so Jonathan, uh, uh, a lot of the supporters are asking, what would you like to be referred to as? <coughs> Eh, muchos de los fanáticos están preguntando qué nombre prefieres que te, que te llamen. Eh, John, Jonathan, bueno, acá me están apodando mucho con John. Eh, no tengo ningún problema con ninguno de esos dos. Um, John or Jonathan, I've seen they're, they're uh, calling me John here, or Jonathan, both work. I have no problem with either of those. Jonathan, nice to meet you, Adam. Uh, a lot of successful Uruguayans in the league right now. Obviously, Luis Suarez in Miami. You have Caceres, who you play with the national team down in LA. Several others throughout the league. Did the success other Uruguayans have in this league influence your decision to join the league? Eh, Jonathan, hay mucho éxito con Uruguay, eh, jugadores uruguayos como Suarez y Caceres entre otros. Mm -hmm. ¿Tú crees que eso te influenció a venirte a jugar a esta liga? Eh, Obviamente sí, se, lo conozco a ellos de, bueno, de otras ligas y obvio eh, que me siento muy contento de que poder estar junto y enfrentarlo a ellos es para mí algo muy lindo, eh, extra que me motiva y sí, obvio, lo siento como que es una oportunidad muy linda estar acá y, y disfrutar mucho este, este periodo. Yeah, I think obviously um, I know them from other leagues as well, and I feel very happy to be together here with them and also even play them. I think that'll be fun, and I feel like it's going to be a really nice opportunity for me to be here. Kind of more Portland specifically, what attracted you about the opportunity of joining this club at this current moment? Hey, ¿Qué fue lo que te atrajo de jugar en Portland en este momento? Bueno, la oportunidad se me abrió las puertas, agradecido con, con Ned por, por darme la posibilidad de estar en la MLS, una que tenía las ganas y la espina siempre de, de poder estar aquí, eh, que estoy en México, siempre lo miré con, con buenos ojos de poder llegar a esta liga, y bueno, eh, me motivó mucho, eh, hemos jugado de rivales mucho partido y sé lo que es, y la verdad que estoy muy, muy feliz, muy contento, y, y poder aportar al equipo con, con lo que me toque. Yeah, I think it, it was an opportunity that I wanted. I'm very grateful, first of all, to Ned for giving me the opportunity and opening the doors for me to come and play in the MLS. And just being in Mexico, having played there for a while, I always saw it as something that I wanted to do. And we've played against many um, Liga MX teams as rivals, or MLS teams as rivals. So I'm just very happy now to be on this side and do my best here. Jonathan, um, how excited are you to put on the kit for the first time and just walk out of the tunnel in front of uh, everyone? ¿Qué tan emocionado estás de ponerte la playera de los Timbers y también de salir en el túnel y ver a los fans en el estadio? Bien, motivado, feliz, como te dije. Eh, no veo la hora de poder estar este fin de semana jugando con todos ellos. Eh, muy contento, muy emocionado. Eh, con los compañeros que cuando llegué me, me recibieron muy bien. 
eso quiera o no te ayuda a sentirte más cómodo, más suelto para adaptarte a todo y nada, esperando con ansia el momento y es poder disfrutar y darle al equipo lo que pretendo yo y lo que merece el club por darme la, la oportunidad de estar acá. Yeah, I feel very motivated and happy, and I'm anxious to come and play with the team at the stadium. I'm excited to be with my teammates. That They were very welcoming from the first uh, day, and that helps me with adapting here. So I'm just excited to give the fans and the club what it deserves from, from my end. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do a Spanish now. We'll start with Josué. Josué del Castillo, La Grande Radio. Jonathan, bienvenido antes que nada a toda la comunidad latina y hispana. Está muy contento, muy emocionada de tenerte con los Portland Timbers. ¿Cómo te encuentras eh, físicamente? El cambio ¿no? de ciudad, eh, de clima, es, eh, de, de comida, es eh, muchísimo. ¿Cómo te sientes físicamente y podremos verte disponible rápido a las órdenes de Field Neville en el campo? Bueno, me siento muy bien. Es decir, no, yo no paré un segundo el que estaba en México. Es decir, me perdí un par de juegos, pero fue por decisión del técnico nomás de dejarme apartado digo, obviamente yo estaba entrenando tuve participación con el filial del equipo es decir, estoy, hice pretemporada estoy muy contento feliz, eh, como te le nombré eh, no veo la hora de poder llegar el fin de semana y que me autoricen y que esté la, el tema de la visa para poder jugar y ver, esperando ese, ese, ese momento Jonathan Guillermo Mota Univision Portland tu paso por México fue espectacular, varios goles, más de 100 goles, eh, luego tu salida del América, vienes de ganar el torneo de apertura, eh, el equipo es un gran equipo al momento, eh, ¿cuál, ¿cuál fue la motivación por salir de un, de un equipo que probablemente puede ganar más campeonatos en los próximos años? Gracias. Bueno, como te había dicho, eh, tenía la, la expectativa de que quería estar en, en un equipo en la MLS, eh, es decir, me sentía como que había cumplido un ciclo en América, eh, no estaba teniendo tanta participación de la que yo pretendía. Bueno, gracias a Dios se, se me abrió las puertas con, con los Portlands y bueno, uno está agradecido porque sé que, que vengo a aportar lo mío, si, si tengo mucho por, por dar y también por aprender, es decir que, como te dije, no <ríe> estoy muy contento y digo, me espero hacerlo mejor que en lo que estaba antes en el equipo y bueno, espero aportar. Nah, Jonathan, eh, Enrique, este, estás con un equipo que podría haber sido bicampeón en esa temporada como es América, eh, ya fuiste campeón con Cruz Azul también, ¿eso te motiva eh, el cambio aquí a la MLS para poder ser campeón con los Timbers y por primera vez dar, eh, tú tener un título de la MLS? Sí, obviamente, para eso, para eso vine en conjunto conmigo y el, y el equipo aspiramos a eso eh, la clasificación, a los playoffs y poder conseguir trofeo que es para lo que, a lo que estamos sí, obviamente es una motivación muy grande para mí vamos a hacer una pregunta más John Uh, Jonathan, para nadie es un secreto el, el valor o la opinión que hay en México eh, aficionados y prensa sobre la MLS pero, ¿cuál es la opinión de los jugadores y de jugadores que toman la iniciativa de venir o que deciden quedarse, pero que tienen oportunidades de venir? Yo creo que ha crecido mucho la MLS en los últimos años, a lo que venía haciendo en la anterior. Eh, se ha puntualizado más, eh, cada vez los juegos, bueno, si vas en nombre, muchas calidades de jugadores han venido acá, que está siendo una liga muy competitiva. Eh, yo lo tomé como un reto muy importante porque creo que es un salto más a lo que venía haciendo y como te digo es tratar de de, de, su, de aportar seguir creciendo y bueno eh, sé que la liga va a ser muy competitiva todos los equipos son parejos cualquiera le dan a cualquiera y bueno es <ríe> qué malo que soy hablando <ríe> ah, Oscar Ramos con la grande bienvenido nuevamente sí. que este aquí a Portland, creo que te va a encantar la ciudad, de eso no tenemos duda. Uh -huh. Y has hablado mucho acerca de, de que decidiste venir a los Timbers por más minutos, que es un nuevo reto para ti, pero está en puerta también Copa América. ¿Te sientes con más oportunidad de ser visto para el profe Bielsa ahora que estarás en Timbers como un jugador franquicia a estar en el América? Ya dijiste que pues, tenías menos minutos, pero eso también me imagino que es una motivación extra, ¿no? Donde el profe Bielsa sí. pueda considerarte más cuando tienes más minutos. 
Sí, obviamente, sí. Eh, prácticamente lo que pretendo acá es primero adaptarme al club, dar lo mejor al equipo y si hoy de mañana llega la oportunidad de estar en la selección, uno que más no quisiera estar en la selección de su país, uno que ya estuvo tiempo. Bueno, y para mí sería muy lindo estar en la Copa América. Sabemos que es difícil, he perdido mucho ruedo en el tema de la selección, pero uno nunca pierde la esperanza y hará todo lo posible para estar. Sam, go ahead. Hello, Jonathan. Uh, welcome to Portland. Uh, for fans who maybe haven't had a chance to watch you play before, how would you best describe your style of play? What can fans expect from you uh, when you uh, take a field for the first time? Thanks. Bienvenido, Jonathan, primero que nada. Para los fanáticos que quizás no te han visto tanto en la cancha, ¿cómo te describirías como jugador y qué es lo que quieres intentar darle a, a los fanáticos en la cancha? Bueno, eh, soy una que me gusta lo, si, lo, atacar los espacios, la velocidad, eh, encarar el uno contra uno, eh, bueno, los goles, <ríe> a tratar de aportarle muchos goles y, y no, eso es. Yeah, I think I like speed a lot. Uh, I like to attack in different spaces and pockets and obviously just scoring goals most, more, more than anything and one-on-ones I think I'm very good at. Okay, we'll wrap it there. Vamos a terminar ahí. Uh, we're going to do a photo op opportunity real quick and then we'll, we'll wrap it up. Okay. Mira allá nomás. Ajá, sí, ahí. Bien sonriente. Ok, perfecto. Gracias, guys. Gracias por joining us. Y have a good, good day for the rest of the day. Peñarol.